God is in his holy place, God who unites those who dwell in his house. He himself gives might and strength to his people. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirits. My brothers and sisters, as we gather this morning to celebrate the body and blood of Christ, we are reminded of God's great love that he has for us. And so for the times where we may not have shown him the same love, let us open up our hearts to receive his grace. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with your Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us gather all of our prayers together into one. Almighty, ever-living God, who taught by the Holy Spirit, we dare to call our Father. Bring, we pray, to the protection of our hearts, the spirit of adoption as your sons and daughters, that we may merit to enter into the inheritance which you have promised. For our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. This word came to Jeremiah from the Lord. Rise up, be off to the potter's house. There I will give you my message. I went down to the potter's house, and there he was, working at the wheel. Whenever the object of clay which he was making turned out badly in his hand, he tried again, making of the clay another object of whatever sort he pleased. Then the word of the Lord came to me. Can I not do to you, house of Israel, as this potter has done, says the Lord? Indeed, like clay in the hand of the potter, so are you in my hand, house of Israel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob. Blessed, Blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob. Praise the Lord, O my soul. I will praise the Lord all my life. I will sing praise to my God while I live. Blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob. Put not your trust in princes and the sons of men, in whom there is no salvation. When his spirit departs, he returns to his earth. On that day his plans perish. Blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob. Blessed, blessed he whose help is the God of Jacob, whose help is in the Lord his God, who made heaven and earth, the sea and all that is in them. Blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Open our hearts, O Lord, to listen to the words of your Son. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Lord, to your Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, The kingdom of heaven is like a net thrown into the sea, which collects fish of every kind. When it is full, they haul it ashore, and sit down to put what is good into buckets. What is bad, they throw away. Thus it will be at the end of age. The angels will go out and separate the wicked from the righteous and throw them into the fiery furnace, where there is wailing and grinding of teeth. Do you understand all these things? They answered yes. And he replied, Then every scribe who has been instructed in the kingdom of heaven is like the head of the household, who brings, brings from his storeroom both the new and the old. When Jesus finished these parables, he went away from there. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Our beautiful readings remind us of the love of God, and that we can always be in God's grace. Today we hear that when a net is thrown into the ocean, that, the sea, that the, all the fish are collected, the good and the bad. 
and they're all brought to land, and then they are separated. That's the same thing for all of us. Jesus collects all of us and is willing to bring us to the shore, bring us to the kingdom of God. And if we allow God to mold us and to form us and to be loving as he has required, then we will be granted that gift. My brothers and sisters, we are reminded that God is always with us, that he's always looking upon us. So let us be grateful. Let us be grateful for him for sending his son into the world, for gathering all of us, so that we may be strengthened in our faith, so that you and I can reap the joys of this life when we return to the kingdom of God. As members of the body of Christ, let us lift our prayers to our Heavenly Father for all of our needs. For the Church, may she be continually blessed with an abundance of divine goodness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those in the world who seek the truth, may the Holy Spirit bring them to know Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those suffering from the loss of a loved one, May our crucified Lord lift them up in their time of sorrow. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the young people of St. Mary's Parish, may God guide and protect them amid the pressures in their lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the repose of all of the souls who have passed away this day, for those who will die this day, and those who have nobody to pray for them. And we especially pray for the repose of the souls of Eugenia Valente, Thomas Scott, and Leo Ridley, for whom this Mass is being offered. Through the mercy of God, may their souls and the souls of all of the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Yesterday was the uh, final day for the online auction for St. Mary's School Gala. And so we pray in Thanksgiving for all the volunteers, for those who are able to be flexible um, with this online gala. And we pray for all those who contributed to our, the success of our school this day and always. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, hear the prayers we offer you this day through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread we offer you. Through the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be our forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer you. Through the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual dream. Thus be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands, the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all of his holy church. Be pleased, O Lord, to accept the offerings of your church, for in your mercy you have given them to be offered, and by your power you transform them into the mystery of our salvation through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, he humbled himself and was born of the Virgin. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from the unending death. And by rising from the dead, he gave us life eternal. And so with the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and the powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end. We acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God, 
God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, the excuse we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the Jews fall, that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks and broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world to bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Edward, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostle, St. Peter, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs of eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Our Savior's command, for my divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us now into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am now worthy that you should enter under word. my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
let us now make our spiritual act of communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and never forget all his benefits. In the intercession of St. Michael the Archangel, let us pray for peace in our hearts, peace in our families, and the protection against Satan and evil in our nation and state. Say, Michael, Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection, protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And then you, thou, Prince of the Heavenly Hosts, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, see you in the souls. Amen. Our Lady, Queen of Peace, pray for us. Let us pray. May the communion of your sacrament that we have consumed save us, O Lord and confirm us in the light of your truth through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. <laughs>